Hello, my beautiful people. So, I did a rune call earlier today, but I was pissed off when I did it. So, not posting that video. Because this, I, I, it was a reading very similar to yesterday's reading, because that same person did something else. And, like, right after I was done with the reading, the person backed out again from plans that we made. So, I needed a new energy pull, but I was really, really tired when I pulled those runes, because I've been up all night. And so I thought I should get some rest. Um, I am down here in my kitchen, which has the world's shittiest lighting. So my apologies, but I have to uh, leave the house early tomorrow. So I didn't feel like taking everything up to the office and then bringing everything back down. So, but I do want to pull a read. What's, what's coming? Two, three, Norn. Spirit, what's coming? Mm. The weather here has been crazy. It's like... It like thunders, lightnings, and rages a, a nice pour, and then it's like sunshine. I mean, now it's nighttime, but it's crazy. Okay. Spirits, what energy are we in? And don't you dare say Thursdays, because you've been giving Thursdays like every five minutes. Oh, huh. Othala. It's Othala. I don't have my book down here, so I'm all going to have to just trust me and my interpretation. What got us into Athala? It's ancient wisdom and connection to ancestors. Oh. There you go. The Infinity Song, that's Ingwats. Where are we headed? We're not interpreting the future, so don't get excited. Our tarot stones. Honest to Pete, throws eyes. You are just connected to me, aren't you? So, I'm in good energy. <sighs> I think about this. I'll be right back. So, interestingly, the earlier read today is, is very similar to this one. That one was like, this thorn is going to be a continual pain in the ass. And it is going to be. And <laughs> this reading says the exact same thing. Um, but it clarifies a little more that this is something that I inherited, which is the truth. You know, and uh, and it's just something that's always going to happen. This person is always going to be this way. Um, they're always going to, you know, cause a lot of drama, you know, be passive aggressive, try to try to pull the energy to them. Um, they're definitely getting the sense that I'm not buying it, um, which I think might be a new a new development for them because they don't seem very self aware of um, their actions or pe people's reactions in reaction to their actions. A lot of action in that sentence, um, but like I'm seriously done playing. Like I don't have to play, you know. Like there's you know I don't care. First of all, I'm Gen X, so I wasn't going to care anyway. But second of all, I like I'm done with it. Like I'm done with with it, and um, done with it. But let's see what the cards say, just to be sure. Um, I mean, it's a very complicated situation that goes back decades, actually. Um, but uh, the older I get the less F's I give. So, um, because it's not my energy. But it is my energy, right? Because, like, it's my energy right now. So, um, it needs to not be my energy. Because I got a busy girl. I don't have time for this nonsense. But, let us get the cards. And, you know, the, the person that this person is attached to, I loved very much. Still love very much. Um, but has crossed over. And so, um, you know, there would have been a time where I would have felt like guilt or an obligation because how much I loved that person who crossed um, to deal with the nonsense that this person left behind. Um, I took care of both of my parents when they were sick and dying. I was with them, them both when they died. I mean, I wasn't physically with either one of them when they took their last breath, but I was there in the end. 
I have taken care of my people that have crossed. All right, Spirit, anything to clarify this message? Hair stuck in the cards. Okay, pass one. Pass two. And pass three. So we have the maiden, innocence, love, and lost. Oh, innocent love and past. Manifestation, uh, dream, plan, and be. And blue, depressed, isolated, help. So I do get the sense that this person is very lonely, and that's what dri is driving the current behavior. And I do understand that because the older that you get, you know, the and as people pass on the smaller your world gets, um, and this is a social person who, um, you know, is very, very social and doesn't have any family left, like has zero family. Um, so I'm the closest, me and my children are the closest that this person has to family. Um, so I, I understand and recognize it. So I stepped up and I was like, okay, I will reach out again. And here are some days when we can come out. Because, uh, again, I have to coordinate all these schedules, right? And none of us can go all at the same time because somebody's working. And now that Jules is working, like, it's another person working. And I, if Jules doesn't drive, so, you know, somebody's got to be there to pick him up. So if it's not me, it's got to be Dave. You know, somebody's got to get the kid. Um, so, you know, I, I figure out a whole, like, when we can go. I'm like, here are the days we can go. Don't hear back. Finally, I hear back, well, when are you coming? Like, And it's always this passive-aggressive, like, well, are you going to come or not? Um, Jackbutt, scroll up. I gave you three days. Pick one. Oh, well, you know, well, this day would be good and this day, but I guess this day. Okay, then we'll do it that day. We'll come at 2 o'clock. Pick you up. Okay, we're going to meet. Yay, we're going to meet. So I, you know, I, you know, I, I made the effort. I, I, I mean, as, as much as this person irritates the ever living crap out of me, in honor of the person who's crossed over, I was the better person, and I reached out because I recognized that this person is lonely, and I recognize this person is by themselves. So, light and love, Moose Fava, we'll go. Not even five minutes later. Oh, I can't go. Oh, this person's coming to visit me, and, and now I can't go. I took a screenshot of that. So now that every time you post on social media that I'm the one who breaks these plans, and I'm the one not responding to you, and that I'm not the one, you know, that I'm this horrible person because I don't ever come see you, I'm going to post that. I'm going to post it every single time because this is nonsense. This is now five times where I have made arrangements to bring my children to see you, and you have backed out for a better plan don't want to hear it so i think my father is saying oh i was trying to i was trying to be uh, i was trying to be cognito about this i think that person is saying you know i left you with this i understand and uh you, you've been trying but this is shit this person is just going to keep doing this that's because that's who this person is and um you know he my father was duped by the manipulation. Um, I'm not sure how the dream card factors in, but let's look at Earth Wisdom and see what that has to say, shall we? Shall we? I just want to be in better energy because I've got a lot of work to do this week and I have no time for nonsense. Like, seriously. Busy girl. Got stuff to do. I got adventures of my own to have. I think that's part of it. It's like this guilt trip that well, you, you know, you do all these different things and you are, you know, you, you have time for this and you have time for that, but you never have time for me. I make time for you because I make time for the people that I love in my life. I had a really, really good friend who, um, you know, if you've watched the channel for a long time, you know, like kind of backed out of my life with no, with no warning. And, um, you know, like, and, and this person works all the time and it's like, oh, I just, I don't have time. I work two full-time jobs. I volunteer like all over God's creation. I made time for you every single day. Even if it's just a five second text, I made time for you every single day. So I don't want to hear the nonsense. You don't have time because I'm a busy girl, but I make time for the people I love. 
So, I made time for this person as recent as today. And this person packed out. But, you know, at least I think my, my dad knows that I'm try I've tried. Um, let's see if Spirit wants to say anything else. Dave's irritated because he hates when I read kids' cards in the kitchen. Because then he can't get coffee. He can suck it up, Buttercup. I'm back in five minutes. Two. Three. Alright, what do we got? We got creativity. Divine love. Practical intuition. I got that yesterday, too. And shadow treasures and clarity. So I think, again, just, uh, you know, just a recognition from spirit that, um, you know, I need to be kind. I mean, that's the one thing is that, like, this person is depressed and this person is alone. And I need to be sensitive to that, you know, in general, because light begets light. Um, and it's no laughing matter when people are alone and things like that. Um, you know, you could say that this person is alone because of the way this person behaves. Um, very false friendly, right? Very, um, much ado about nothing. But, um, fake, I guess is the word, fake. You know, like on the surface level, when you meet this person, you're like, oh, this person is like so awesome and, you know, so friendly and, you know, but when you get to know this person really well, you realize that it's all a bunch of lies. Um, and, and like, so, uh, because you all know this is about my dad. My father left my mother after 36 years of marriage. The marriage was over. So it's, uh, I don't think my brothers and I at all didn't accept that the marriage was over. And my father stayed with my mother because of me. I know that. Um, which is heartbreaking because I would never have wanted him to be unhappy a day in his life. Uh, cause I was close to both my parents, but they're human, right? And that marriage was over. And, um, so, you know, it was what it was. Um, there was, you know, as these things go, there was a lot of drama and, you know, six years went by before my mother passed away. And at, and then, uh, several more years until my father passed away. And then my, my father got married. Thankfully, he got married after my mother passed away. So I had to deal with that drama because I don't know if it's harder when your parents divorce when you're adults or when you're children, but when you're adults, man, they want you taken sides and I refuse to do it because I love them both. So, um, um, you know, I, I, I would have preferred that my father and mother would have gone for counseling or, you know, done something like that, but not my, not my circus, not my monkeys. So at my father's funeral, uh, this person's cousin came up to me and was like, oh, it is so great that your dad met, you know, when, um, when your mother died. I was like, I'm sorry, excuse me? What? Oh, you know, like, you know, being a widower, widower must have been so lonely. It was so glad that he met when when she died, I'm like, my mother didn't die. And then she's trying to tell me, well, no, no, your dad was... Listen, honey, my mother lived with me for six years. I took care of my mother. These two broke her heart. That's what killed her. So don't, don't tell me when my mother died, because my mother died the day he left. She just hung on for six years while, uh, while waiting for her disease to take over. So it was like, it was this lie, you know, that that this person had perpetuated because she, you know, she didn't want to tell people that she went online and took somebody's husband away from them. Somebody who was disabled and sick and dying. Now, my dad is not innocent in this. He made the choice. He made the choice to do it. He made the choice to follow down the gilded path and, uh, you know, messed up our family as a result. Those were his choices. He's responsible for them. So, um, you know, but, um, I think given, given the choices he made, he did try to make the, he did try to do the best by my mother. Like he didn't get divorced. He kept her on his insurance until, cause she was an at-home mom, kept her on his insurance until she could collect social security. Like he did some things to help her out, which a lot of people when they leave don't do. Um, but all in all, I don't want to hear at my father's funeral, like you've been lying about my father and my mother and killing my mother every single day since she died. I mean, since he left. Like, and so that, in that moment, I was so angry and, um, you know, and like that shadow work, you know, like I was really angry, um, 
I wasn't angry that my dad left. I wasn't angry that my dad went with another woman. I wasn't angry. Um, you know, marriages fail, marriages succeed, relationships fail, relationships succeed. Um, you know, marriage really is just a piece of paper. You know, it's what you put into it that makes it makes it count or not. So I wasn't upset about any of those things, but I was upset about the lies because there was no need for them. You know, this is a decision my father made. Own up to it. What's the, you know, what's the shame? He was in an unhappy marriage. He met somebody that made him happy. Case closed. Not first time in history, not last. You know, but you wanted to make yourself look better. You know, and make yourself look like a saint, which is bullshit. So, um, so anyway, what does this have to do with rune cards? Well, it's just, you know, spirit acknowledging that I'm, I'm sort of dealing with this, you know, because I've been left with this person, um, who has a relationship with my children, or at least one child. She doesn't like the other one. She doesn't like the disabled one because, you know, she is an expert on children and why doesn't this child fall all over? Uh, because he's autistic and he falls over all over no one. He doesn't fall all over me. Like, you know, we, we work to have conversations. We work, you know, we work to have a bond, you know, but he is not social and he is autistic. So, you know, he is little rain man, you know, but she's an expert on children and, and, um, you know, he must not know who she is. He knows who you are. He, he, he loves his other grandmother to death and she comes every week and he doesn't talk to her either. So, he doesn't call her on the phone. He doesn't, he, that's not who he is. That's not the kind of kid he is. He doesn't like to do that kind of thing. But she's an expert because she was a teacher. Had no children of her own. So, you know, she says she wanted him. I have no idea if that's true or not. But um, I don't believe anything she says, I guess, is the, is the bottom line. Um, you know, and I try to keep a relationship with her for my children in honor of my dad. But... You're not playing games with me because it's horseshit and I don't buy it. Anyway, now that we have gotten all that out, and I feel so much relief. I am wishing you all the best in light and love, and I hope that this resonates with you somehow. Stories from PRG. I should get a campfire, and we could burn some marshmallows and drink some whiskey. Be well. Take care. Bye-bye.